Your ridiculous questions are so annoying. I'm not even. I ask questions. I'm a journalist. That's what we do. Let's just pretend electric buses will fix everything. And of course, the electric bus report doesn't mention the legions of slave child laborers working in third world countries that are scratching up all the trace minerals needed for the school bus batteries, destroying their own environment in the process. And yes, the feel good technology will save us article left that part out. And the part that disposing of these batteries creates another huge toxic mess. Let's skip over the not so pleasant parts. I think the correct term is greenwashing in this case. Technology isn't going to save from technology addiction. Only temperance will. And only on a massive scale and only if done soon. But all of us must ask ourselves, what do we want to be found doing when we take our last breath? Cowering in a corner or facing the full fury of the storm head on, without fear, without timidity, without trepidation, struggling with all our might against the fading of the light and holding fast to the faith that we are not alone in this fight, not by a long shot. Our task, our role, our mission must be to remain at our appointed post no matter what comes until we're relieved by our maker. So long as we're still standing and able to march on in this battle, this we must do. And if we do, who can say what profound and miraculous good we may yet accomplish even at this late hour? We don't stop. Stay strong, citizens.